What's up, what's up, what's up? So I'm at the shop right now. I want to give you guys a little update of what I got going on. Um, let me turn this camera around. So as you can see, my son's cars are in the way. But I had the Chevelle out yesterday. It was beautiful. First real drive of the year. I haven't really driven it since October. And it was great. Except for I had two uh, spark plug wires that were arcing out on the manifolds. Once I got those off of there, it was fine. Uh, yeah, Hellcat engine with a Lamborghini on top because dad life. And I have got to clean this up. This is the parts room. And no, that's not my 57 Bel Air convertible. That's Uncle Phil. And uh, I get impaled on this every time I come through here. So I've got to make some more room. I feel like I'm trapped on one of those hoarder shows. Um, can you imagine being a kid in 1957 and coming down the hill and losing your brakes and just, ugh. It's probably why I had that chrome there. At least it would stop you from getting impaled a little bit, but. Anyway, um, I gotta clean all this up. I just have no room in here. This is just too many boxes. So I get all these parts sorted out. I got Challenger parts, Impala, Caprice. Um, a little bit of everything. I got Mustang parts. I got, I got turbos sitting over here somewhere. Yeah, I got turbos right there. A lot of stuff. So got to get in here and do some late spring cleaning. Weather's getting nicer. Ah, something caught me. Okay, I'm good. Uh, weather's getting nicer and I want to be outside. Um, you astute viewers probably are realizing, hey, you got 68 uh, derby caps on the Chevelle. Yeah, it's because the city of Tacoma and its beautiful roads claimed one of my uh, derby caps for the Chevelle last year. And I just haven't ordered another one. So, But my 18 scale collection is looking nice. Look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. 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 If you didn't know, I'm, I am a die-cast fiend, but especially for 18 scale. Love them, love them, love them. These are new. These came from, these are from like 05 or something like that. So, yeah, I got those at Swap Meet. Most of the stuff I got from Swap Meet. So, yeah. And these are, uh, you can't really see that one, but that's a factory Chevy uh, dealership, um, I don't know, display poster from 1972. Back when a 1972 Caprice was modern compared to a like a 1912, whatever that is up there. And that one's like a split bumper Camaro. Oh, that's a 72 Chevelle also. I got a split bumper Camaro here somewhere. So also I got this um, cool Bel Air monster right here. It's like a, it says $10. I paid like, yeah, I paid $10 for it. It was listed 15, I paid 10 for it, but it's like from 1986. So pretty cool. Anyway, uh, Mustang. I know you guys have been asking about the Mustang and let me show you why it doesn't have that engine in it yet. Well, yeah, let me let me show you real quick why it doesn't have that in there. Um, before I go, uh, 63 Paul is still chilling. Not doing much on that until I finish some other stuff. 69 El Camino is still chilling. Full of stuff. Uh, my son's <laughs> Corvette. I actually need to get him a new battery. This is from like 1986, I think it is. A buddy of mine gave it to him, so... Got to put a new battery in here, see if it works. It's cool because it has a little glove box too, you know, styling, profiling. Back when the steering wheel was in the middle and you, you know, feet went on either side of it. And it's got the car phone. I just realized it. Wow. Doing it. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Anyway. um, Yeah, 409 for the 60 Impala sitting there. Hey, really? Come on. Now. Okay, boom. 409. Uh, in there somewhere is a 396 for the old community. You can see the gold, uh, chrome valve covers. Um, yeah, and then I'm, I have all these eBody consoles here. Why do I have so many? Because I bought 17 of them from a buddy of mine who was getting rid of a lot of his Challenger parts, and I really only needed two of them, but, you know, I bought 17 of them. So, actually, I need to order parts for all of those and assemble them so I can get them sold, get them out of my life. Who knows? I don't need more stuff. Um, this one's cool, though. It has a... Um, Old Stuart Warner gauge. Really? Are we not going to be in focus tonight? Is that how you feel? Let me see. Blackout. So, yeah. Period correct. It's got to be like 70s, 80s. It's really cool, though. Has all the wire and everything. So, probably keep that for one of my builds. Um, I've been saying it. I need to just go ahead and do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull this Camaro out, and I want to show you guys what I've been doing to it. Well, what I did to it so far. I haven't worked on it in a while. Um, I'm gonna go that train. Uh, 
Uh, 70 Sunroof Challenger. I feel like throwing... See, okay, so 440 Ford is sitting right here. But it has like a push button transmission on it because it came out like a I don't know, 64 or 5 or 7 Imperial, something like that. Uh, so I need to get that off of there. Again, uh, 727 automatic. I'm good to go. Uh, Sunroof Challenger, 1970, one of 197 or 96. Um, I feel like just putting that in there with the transmission and driving it as is. I have all the interior for it. Um, getting it to maybe the, the Mopar car show this year I always go to, which is uh, out in Graham. Sunburst. Um, the date for that is right. So, kind of want to get that together and drive that there. Uh, <clears throat> my other challenger. So, I'm going to start stripping this down. This is what I'm putting the Hellcat engine in as of right now. I'm putting the Hellcat in this one. Uh, that new Cooter I got will get the Viper engine. So, yeah. Uh, more consoles. Dang, I got a lot more consoles here. More consoles, more die casts. Yeah, I got a problem. So I well I need I need a bigger place for more than anything. Um yeah, 390 for the Mustang sitting there. So uh oh yeah, the whole reason I came over here. I'll show you why the engine's not in here yet. Let's go to the flow. Alright. Oh seriously? I'm doing this in one take, I don't care. I'm not doing this over. Oh, Alright. So he yeah, there we go. That right there is grade A certified rust. So floor pans in the front are rusty. And being that it's a unibody, kind of need these floor pans. See the subframe connects to these rusty floor pans. So I figure if I put a big block in this car as is, I don't know, it might just fall in on itself right here. So I do need to replace these floors. The front floors, I mean, that one's not as bad over there, at least from this side, but there's a, a transmission cross member. So the the back aren't as bad. I still would replace them as I'm doing the front because I'm already there. So um, that's why progress really has halted on the Mustang. I am excited to drive it, but I really need to be safety first before I, um, yeah, ruin my dream car. So that's what's going on right now. So I need to buy a welder and then I can get started on this. Drop an engine in. I also need to get a... Um, I guess in the meantime, I can order it. Uh, a bracket to relocate the what is it, power steering pump because it will hit out of the 66 T-Bird. It'll hit uh, somewhere down there. Um, or over here somewhere. It'll hit. That's what they say. I don't know. I haven't put it in there yet. Maybe I should just shoehorn it in there and see what it looks like and go from there. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Um, <clears throat> let me get a better look at the other side. As I move this fender, I'm supposed to be shipping out. Apparently they shut down like all the Greyhound. Look at that packing jar. That's amazing, ain't it? I know. Don't be jealous. Um, I usually ship Fenders, uh, Greyhound, Package Express, but they're starting to shut down Greyhounds because I mean, when last time you took Greyhound? So, um, as you can see, the hole. Yeah, that's carpet right there. So the side is pretty bad on the outside. So yeah, need some floor pans. Ordered up. Then I can put it in there, but I do plan on driving this this summer. Just need to get on the weather. I hate, you know, ask people for their stuff. So, worst comes to worst, I'll borrow Pontiac Dave's. He don't know it yet, but love you, Dave. Okay, I'm back. I have plans on doing this all in one take, and my phone had other plans. So, uh, let me show you this. That's a 57 Bel Air RC car from, like, the 80s. Picked up at a swap meet. Pretty cool. Paid 10 bucks for it. Um... 1510 rallies for the Chevelle with the cap. Um, I'm going to order me some 295s for those. Get those mounted up. Matter of fact, here's a cap right here. So this is one of three remaining caps for the Chevelle. Um, the other one took flight downtown Tacoma on these lovely roads I pay all this tax money for. Hit a pothole and it took flight and I didn't realize it until I got back to the shop. So one of the tweakers down there is probably using it right now as we speak. So uh, Dodge caps, 1510 Steelys for the Challenger. Uh, these are Plymouth caps. I just want to see what they look like. But um, people think these are, uh, people call them dog bones. Uh, call them Mickey Thompson eyes, sportsman eyes, whatever. The original ones from, I think, the 70s or 80s were actually, these are actually H's for Holly. Yeah, Holly carburetors. Um, they had a collab collaboration back in like the 70s or 80s. I think I'll drop the ad for them right there so you can see them. Um, 
And then when they brought them back out in the early 2000s, which is this set is an NOS set from there, early 2000s, uh, they didn't want to pay the licensing to Holly for something they did like, I don't know, 40 years ago. So they called it Mickey Thompson's Sportsman Eyes, I believe. But it's like, look, look at this. Look at this trade right here. Ridiculous. Like 12 inches. So uh, anyway, so that's where I'm at right there. Um, another shot of my 18 scale die cast. And I'll probably whip the Chevelle out tomorrow. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you ladies that follow me. There's probably like 12 of y'all, but that's cool. Love y'all. Um, happy Mother's Day to you guys' wives, your your mama's mamas, baby mama's mamas, all that. And uh, on that note, we are out. Peace.